Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast in a game between OGS's MC and St I believe as St Startail's Ace here on the Tall Dream Altar. This was taken from Star Wars. I believe it's Star Wars. Anyways, this is game one in what I believe to be a best of three series. And before, I really didn't like Protoss versus Protoss mirror matches. But now, as of late, I'm really looking forward to them. There's a lot of diversity. There's a lot of different strategies all based upon the changes in timing on that warp gate research the warp gate the four gate pressure isn't it isn't everything anymore and especially on a map like this a map of this size we may actually see a macro protoss versus protoss mirror match <coughs> OGS's MC pretty much am a little bit behind so far compared to Startails or Ace so far. Getting that pylon up just a little bit later and now both sides chrono boosting probes in order to try to get a very strong economy going. I do assume that we will, we will see a gateway followed by a Cybernetics Core. Um, or sorry, a Simulator then Cybernetics Core. Um, pretty much a standard build and we're already seeing a very early scout coming in from Ace. So Ace now scouting about same thing with MC. Both players will find each other in just a little bit of time and we'll see what happens here. The probe now making its way across the map will um, head over here in just a moment. Both players scouting in the same direction or sorry, um, towards the same base. And because of that, they will pretty much be able to deduce where their opponent is. MC now getting up that assimilator, also getting in for another pylon. Meanwhile, back over here, we are getting another pylon as well. So the timings are nearly identical so far in this matchup as MC now continuing to look around. You can see that the probe wanted to make sure that there was actually nothing there before it continued along its merry way. A gateway is now up. Cybernetic score coming in from MC. Same thing should be coming in over here as well. And I believe both sides will be going for a Stalker first. The Cybernetics Core only takes 50 seconds to build. So as soon as that is up and running, the Stalker should be Chrono Boosted out, only taking 32 seconds to build. And the Probe of M's, or sorry, of Ace will come in there in just a little bit later and will have to deal with, I believe, a Stalker coming out in just a moment. The Probe cannot stay around for far too long as a, <coughs> as a second gateway now coming online as well we are going into a double gas build by mc meanwhile ace finally getting that second assimilator so ace now feels like he's just a little bit behind as a zealot now being trained first that's a very interesting as a zealot is being trained first and now the zealot just still wandering around we are getting a chrono boost on the cybernetic core as that soccer is also being trained back over here same thing as well cybernetic core researching that warp gate a stalker now being trained as a probe now deciding to back off as well so both sides pretty much sitting on very, very similar bases so far. The Zealot unable to catch up to that probe. That probe will be able to escape with little to no issue at all. As a Stalker now finally joining in the rest of that army for the fight. Two gate play. Cybernetics Core still researching away. Still has plenty of time. Same thing back over here. This is one gate play though. So um, I'm not exactly sure what exactly Ace plans to do. He is going for a robotics facility in the back. And the robotics facility is a pretty safe bet. We'll see if MC goes for a Stargate or a Twilight Council. That is the natural next building that most Protoss players go for. As he is still running off of two gate play so far. And he is still training up more and more probes. There needs to be more production buildings coming in from MC. As MC um, off of one base should be able to support four Protoss production buildings. You only see two so far. Meanwhile, back over here, it is going to be a three gate with a robotics facility as that warp gate research now nearing completion. Three stalkers now making their way out. And this is going to be a very difficult fight as a probe now going to use the time and the opportunity to run head on and try to gain some more scouting information into the base. A sentry will spot the probe. Two sentries. And the two sentries should be enough to shut down the probe before the probe is able to actually see inside here. And so a little bit of a lucky break there as Ace trying to use the fact that the stalkers were away from home in order to do a push or a scouting push but unable to do so he does see that there is no expansion so both players should be engaging in just a moment a robotics bay now coming online but that's going to be a l significantly late as this four gate pressure from mc may be able to simply walk over his opponent one probe taking a round of attacks now getting destroyed there there are going to be three stalkers against three stalkers but it's now going to be five on five with sentries here both sides battling now one poor zealot 
uh, being left behind to simply just die. Perhaps the Zealot should have turned around in order to engage and perhaps stop some of those stalkers. We need to get Immortals and Immortals need to be Chrono boosted out in a hurry. Two sentries now down over here. There is one observer keeping track of the army. That is a lot of sentries to be had. This is going to be a very difficult proposition for Ace to try to stop. There's the force fields and oh, nicely done. Trapping one of those stalkers and forcing a lot of damage to be had. More stalkers still coming in. <clears throat> one immortal now coming out. Another immortal needs to be chrono or needs to be trained up as there is such a large number of units coming in. So that one immortal, which is in the back, unable to engage. That is a problem as more force fields coming in. Both sides taking a lot of damage so far. Four, three force fields have been used up. Where is that other immortal? The immortal is not being trained. The immortal needs to engage in that battle. And those force fields are just absolutely playing a nightmare. Playing nightmare for um, um, what Startail's ace as MC has been able to neutralize the immortal from getting any serious damage at all. And there's the GG. So ace... Losing game one in this series. Uh, stay tuned for game two uh, between OGS's MC and ST Ace, um, which should be coming up in just a moment.